So here I am folks, I am at Fishing with Dynamite, the highest rated seafood restaurant in Manhattan Beach that's voted best oyster bar in LA. Mm. Can't miss this episode, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. Today I am out here in Manhattan Beach, one of the loveliest beaches in Southern California. And as you know, I am continuing on with my best seafood in LA series, covering the best and most unique seafood spots that you gotta check out in LA. And today I am certainly at another one of the highly rated, in fact, this is the highest rated seafood restaurant in the Manhattan Beach area fishing with dynamite. They are known for their awesome fresh seafood of all kinds, especially their oyster. In fact, I think it was even rated the best oyster bar in LA or something like that, incredible. I mean, it's not just about their oysters. They have a lot of other great seafood here as well. So definitely stick all the way to the end of this episode so that you can see this amazing seafood overview that I'm about to show you right now. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I put out these food and travel videos weekly that you don't want to miss out on, especially with me putting out these seafood episodes. So go ahead, do that right now. I see the restaurant up ahead of me. Time for some lunch. You know, this restaurant is smaller than I thought. It's a really small restaurant, but then again, they pack a huge punch on their menu. They've been here since 2013, so running for about eight years right now. But like I said, they are so highly acclaimed. The highest rated seafood restaurant that you can find in Manhattan Beach, which is good enough for me. So definitely here's the go-to spot here. And they are most known for their oysters here. They do have scallops and mussels and cook seafood as well but the oyster bar this is where all the rave is at west coast oysters east coast oysters you got a nice variety going on here i am super excited especially when they are about to build this seafood platter this tower that i'm about to eat we got all the oysters lined up on the side from both the east coast and the west coast look at this little neck clams haven't had this in a long time especially raw and some peruvian scallops okay so this is the top floor and then with the sauces we have a few different ones like the cocktail sauce the ponzu sauce the horseradish sauce and the mignonette and then if we go down to this level, there's another party going on down here. Shrimp cocktail, mussels, and Alaskan king crab. And this is the lobster. Yes, and the crazy thing is I actually have more food coming out after this too. So this isn't the end. This is kind of like the appetizers. Although I could probably eat this whole thing and this could be my meal if I'm really hungry. Oh yeah. So just letting you know, more food coming out after this. So don't go anywhere. Maybe what I'll do is start with some of these oysters. Okay, ooh, it looks so juicy. Maybe what I'll do is begin by putting some of the cocktail sauce on here and start with this. You know, I love the fact that there's so many different kinds of sauces that you can put on top of it. You're gonna have so much different flavors, like fireworks going on in your mouth when you're eating these oysters. Mm. Wow, it just melts in your mouth. It's so soft. You know, you can taste the ocean, really like the ocean water. Okay, what about some of this horseradish onto this oyster? Mmm. Whoa, that horseradish, it's pretty good, I like it. Little neck clam, right there. Awesome stuff going on. Mm. I could you not, that's the first time I've ever had a little neck clam raw. 
Ooh, it's so good though. What about the Peruvian scallops? Peruvian scallops with maybe some of this, this ponzu sauce on top of it. Mmm. That Peruvian scallop is so amazing. I've had raw scallops before, you know, sushi restaurants. It's very tender. But man, with that ponzu sauce. In fact, you can put any one of these sauces on there and it tastes great. It's kind of sweet too, because I believe there's a piece of grapefruit that's on top of it that adds that fruity sweetness to it, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so the shrimp cocktail, maybe I'll put it in some of this cocktail sauce, since that's very traditional, right? Fresh shrimp crunchiness, I love it. That is also very fresh. Ah, look at that meat. That looks so good, doesn't it? Okay. Mmm. Wow, that, that lobster tastes so fresh. Man, that is some good lobster. It's so tender and it's, uh, it's crunchy too, in a very good way. Wow, everything here tastes so good so far. So like I said, they do have a lot of cooked items here that are very good as well, so I can't miss out on it. So back there, they're making everything from like the hamachi, they got raw fish here, all the way to cooked scallops and the grilled octopus. Really rocking stuff. Oh man, that octopus looks so charred, so barbecued. I love it with all the sea salt on top of it. Who doesn't like, oh, lemon juice. Yeah, who doesn't like a good grilled octopus? And that is what's called koshikaru rice. Yes, it's like a type of a Japanese rice that's one of the specialties right here. Kind of like risotto in some ways. Here's the other foods that are on the menu, beginning with this beautiful appetizer, the hamachi sashimi, which has this citrus ponzu sauce, crushed avocado serrano chili, and shiso. This is the grilled Spanish octopus. It's kind of a new menu item, but it's already such a hit. And on the bottom, the red is the spicy tomato sauce and papas canarias, which is the potatoes that you see kind of like around. And then this one is also a very big hit here. This is the Maryland blue crab cake, house-made dill pickles, whole grain mustard, ramalad. Of course, I gotta start with the hamachi, right? Oh. oh my, that is mind blowing. That is a melt in your mouth, rich, fresh hamachi with that ponzu sauce that's, you know, kind of reminds me of this dish at Sugarfish that they give you in the beginning with the tuna sashimi with that ponzu sauce, very similar to that. So you know, this is Japanese influenced. And then the octopus, definitely gonna try that with plenty of this tomato sauce. That's on the bottom. That is beautiful. That is a super soft octopus. Mm. And it's so crispy on the top too. It's tender on the inside, like super tender. None of that rubberiness charred and crispy on the top. And it's kind of sweet too because of this tomato sauce that adds that tomato sweetness to it. And just a kick of spiciness as well. Oh yeah, it's actually a little bit spicy. What am I saying? But then it comes with these potatoes that hopefully will kind of neutralize it out a little bit. Oh, yeah, like salted potatoes. And I heard that they went through 32 different recipes before they settled on this one. That tells me they put a lot of effort into perfecting the crab cake, which is what I wanna see right now. Oh. Wow, that thing melts like sushi in your mouth. Seriously. 
And moving on, this is what's called the Koshi Hikari Rice, which is one of their specialty here. It's kind of like a risotto in some ways. There's shrimp, uni, blue crab, egg yolk, and basil in here. It looks so pretty, doesn't it? I'm gonna make sure to get the rice with plenty of the shrimp that's inside of it. It's creamy and it's buttery, it's yolky. And the chunks of shrimp that's in here is so big. So much of that seafood inside of your mouth. I don't think I've quite had anything like this before in a seafood or any other restaurant because I usually don't order risotto or any sort of rice porridge dish that often when I go to restaurants. But this one is a very new experience to me, but one that's certainly a welcome experience. And then I cannot forget my scallops. These are the seared main diver scallops with celery root, savoy spinach, currants, and pine nuts. I can tell they are cooked to perfection because it cuts so easily. That thing is like, wow. It is so tender. Next thing you know, it's gone from your mouth. It just dissolves just like that. This is the definition of a perfectly cooked fresh scallop. Mm. Oh, even the vegetables in the center with the raisin, it's so good as well. Okay, so my dessert came out. So let me show you what I got here today. They got some awesome desserts, such as the pretzel bread pudding. This one has brown butter, salted caramel, and mascarpone ice cream, which is on top of the bread pudding. But then to my right, this is truly a highlight. People all over town talk about this. This is their key lime pie, which is a pie that's very popular in Florida. And it's hard to really find a good one here in LA, but I heard this is possibly the best one you can find here in Los Angeles. Yikes, all of this is brown butter that's on the bottom. That is crazy, isn't it? Wow, that truly is a bread pudding. It's like a pretzel bread pudding. I've never heard of that. You hear that pretzel bread pudding. That is so creative. The ice cream is delicious and this brown sugar butter, it really does taste like butter. So what you're tasting in your mouth is like a buttery pretzel bread pudding with this mascarpone ice cream on top of it. This key lime pie, this is the one I've been wanting to try. That is so sour in a very delicious way. It's creamy, it's sour, and then that crust on the outside gives it that crunch to it. So if you guys are here in the Manhattan Beach area and you specifically want seafood, look no further than fishing with dynamite because people around here say that this is really like one of the best seafood experiences you can have in Los Angeles County. It's a small little restaurant. They do have an amazing outdoor seating area, but man, this kitchen packs a punch. Very chef-driven food that fires on all cylinders. So remember that. When you're in this area, check out Fishing with Dynamite and just get what I got so that you can try some of the best things on their menu. All right, guys, so before I close out this episode, I want to give a shout out to Alice right here. She's the chef here at Fishing with Dynamite. So when you see this episode, when you come here, just tell her you saw this video. She'll take really good care of you, right? Awesome, yep. <laughs> All right, awesome, short and sweet. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode of Rockstar Eater. You know the drill, guys. Thumbs up for this video. Comment if you've been here. I'd love to hear your story. And also subscribe so that you can see some more awesome seafood videos coming out in a few weeks. Hope you have a rocking day, folks, and that you'll try some of this rocking food here at Fishing with Dynamite soon. And I'll see you guys in the next video.